Okay, now, gule video lena si zobesi discussa u question 7. Um, in the description box, uzo tolama links for other questions yungwa pendulile for this question paper ga November 2018. Question 7, u, 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 u involve ama calculations on e stoichiometry as well as e concentration. Right? Um, so, la u question 7, um, question 7 we tu fundega nga lenzela. But a group of learners prepare a 0 0.25 mole per cubic decimeter solution of sodium carbonate by dissolving a 14.2 gram sample of hydrated hydrated sodium carbonate so hydrated i think it'll underline i think it'll underline hydrated sodium carbonate hydrated hydrated sodium carbonate in 200 cubic um, centimeter of water 7.1 explain the meaning of the term hydrated now okay now we're about to move to hydrated um okay there's dehydrated and hydrated now we're about to move to dehydrated but in if that person is hydrated now, Kazutini Unamanzi, right? So in chemistry, the term hydrated, Singal Kazanguti, um, it means that, okay, 7.1, it means that um, maybe a molecule or a substance is surrounded by a water molecule or water molecules so that's the definition for hydrated in chemistry surrounded by water molecules 7.2 just like lana sodium carbonate is hydrated ngazinga underline lo x um h2o right x h2o simply means this molecule is hydrated is surrounded by water molecules 7.2 7.2 but in write down a balanced chemical equation to show how sodium carbonate dissociates in water all right again nice sodium carbonate here together this is our sodium to carbonate we might dissociate a manzini you form an ion yani your sodium right so it's positive negative so it's sodium is one thing is sodium carbonate sodium carbonate this co3 is what we call a carbonate so give about plus bunny c3 right minus is telling i'm a positive number chemical um formula telling i'm a positive ions a chemical formula for my positive ions a chemical formula for the negative ions so therefore since i i got my sodium i got i2 so it's two times sodium plus one it's plus one since sodium is the first group and then lana it's carbonate carbonate ion it's a negative ion which has a ionic charge of negative one in fact there's a table where baglistella wonky amalogans ama ions um ama ions nama chemical formulas um ama ions nama chemical formulas so as we are seven side for naming ama chemical um formulas unfortunately i didn't prepare the pdf or the image for for your table in a include a in the case a little list of ama ama ions right 7.3 uh, 7.3 but in learners then take 10 cubic centimeters of the prepared solution the solution above the solution above layer but at only 10 10 cubic centimeters of the prepared solution and allow it to react completely with five cubic centimeters of the diluted hydrochloric acid according to the following balanced chemical equation so lana sinani 
sine hydrochloric acid it's an acid and then sivana in the sodium carbonate they react to form lama products lower 7.3.1 define the term a mole of a substance mole one mole of a substance is what now is the amount of a substance having the same number of particles as there are atoms in 12 gram of carbon 12 atoms so this is basically one mole of a substance right one mole of a substance is equivalent to 12 gram um, of a carbon 12 atoms right it contain the same number of particles as this sample of a 12 gram carbon 12 atoms 7.3.2 this is an acid base reaction. What type of chemical reaction is represented by the chemical equation above? Then I acid, the hydrochloric acid, the acid, right? And then you react on the sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate is a base. So that's why 7.3.2 is an acid base reaction. 7.3.3. Calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in 5 cubic centimeters of hydrochloric acid. If the concentration is given as 1 mole per cubic decimeter. So, 7.3.3 is so the formula. C, concentration equal to number of moles divided by volume. And the lana's funa in we want the number of moles is for the number of moles i'm given in the volume i'm also given in the concentration so lana is just a matter of substituting and calculating the value for n so in this way n zagela um what what is the concentration it's one remember calculating if we calculate the number of moles for hydrochloric acid hcl Concentration is given as 1 equal to the number of moles divided by the volume. The volume is given as 5 cubic, sorry, it's, fi it's, fi it's 5 cubic centimeters. And the number of our calculations in chemistry, um, especially last calculator, concentration or a fo formula, you a concentration. A volume must always be expressed as E in terms of ama ama cubic decimeters in terms of ama cubic decimeters so let us do this again if volume is given as what is given as ama cubic centimeters now if we look change ama cubic centimeters to ama cubic decimeters we divide that by a thousand so five divided by a thousand see taller of five or as in the so now about you fun with scientific notation you have a press a okay 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 yeah one is going to answer it now i answer it uh, what's this equal to sd okay it's five times money five times ten to exponent minus three cubic decimeters now you answer it today now i will change up from cubic centimeters to cubic decimeters we divide by a thousand so lana the volume is ten, five times ten to exponent minus three divide by one then i cross multiply n one times n is n and then one times this it's five times ten to exponent minus three um mole mole the n is the number of moles for now the number of moles now the n is the number of moles so n is equal to this mole of any hydrochloric acid so this is our answer for 7.3.3 7.4 but to calculate the mass of the sodium chloride formed in the reaction in question 7.3 so, since you erase Alana, then do this calculation. 
All right, now 7.4, calculate the mass of sodium chloride formed in the reaction in question 7.3. So now in reaction it, it's an acid-base reaction, nylana. So this is our base, this is our acid, right? Excuse me. Now, lana ng funo calculate the mass of sodium chloride. Now sodium chloride la. Uh, formed, right? And then in the previous question, go 7.3.3, I just calculated the number of moles, la, right? Lana ng to calculate the number of moles. So, this is a stoichiometry calculation on a stoichiometry, right? It's a calculation on a stoichiometry. So, go stoichiometry sends a so again, So, compare the number of moles um, between the given um, between the given amount or the substance with the given an amount with the given amount and the substance with the unknown amount in Kazoguti. So you compare any hydrochloric acid nani ni sodium chloride. Lena unknown. This is unknown. This is known. Let's that we calculate, right? And as I want to get from the equation, the number of moles, the ratio of the number of moles is 2 to bunny to 2. Is 2 to 2, and it's the same thing as saying 1 to 1. Because of, we divide on 2, we divide on 2, we divide on 2, we divide on 2, we divide on 1. 1, 2, we divide on 1, we divide on 1. So it's a 1 to 1 ratio between the hydrochloric acid and the sodium chloride. Yes? Alright, okay. Now, saying that, um, the number of mo the number of moles or the ratio between the number of moles between the known and the unknown is one to one. And then pegging for the number of moles. In fact the mass of a sodium chloride. So for the mass of a sodium chloride, since this is a stoichiometric calculation, stoichiometry now when some calculations go stoichiometry, you say when some moles. Right, so lucky for us on the previous question, I was 7.3.3. So I calculated the number of moles of hydrochloric acid. So I told you it's 5 times 10 to exponent minus 3 mole, and then in upper it's what it's unknown, right? It's unknown. Big arguments you total x and you cross multiply, you total this one, you cross multiply. So 1 times x is x equal to this times 1 is 5 times 10 to exponent negative 3 moles of what? Of sodium chloride were formed. So voila, since you are totally like my number of moles for sodium chloride. Yes? Utata in the number of moles from the balanced chemical equation. Right, it starts at the number of moles from the balanced chemical equation, C T mole ratio, Lena. Then we will compare another calculated amount or the given amount in terms of our moles. Right? So now we calculated the amount of sodium chloride, but in terms of moles. So we need to convert this is the number of moles le. We need to convert the number of moles Lena to a mass. Uh, big argument, big. It's number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. Since you have a mass, right? And I have a number of moles. You see inside this formula, 80, number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. So the number of moles were calculated as 5 times 10 to exponent negative 3 equal to m which is the masses for the calculator the molar mass for the sodium chloride is what uh, it's 23 okay at this wall as as i check it you know periodic table okay now so it's 23 for sodium and then it's plus 35.5 in molar mass for a chloride. So this is equal to 58.5.
So 58.5 and then divide by 1 lana. Then I can say cross multiplier and make u m the subject of the formula and it's 1 times 1 time 1 times m is m 58.5 times 5 okay 58.5 times 5 times 10 to exponent negative 3 is equal to 0 0.29 0 0.29 grams 0 0.29 grams in two decimal places so this is our final answer this is the mass of a sodium chloride formed this is the mass for a sodium chloride formed so this is the last question um for our question seven thanks for watching now we enjoy this video of course long liver of course look like a little video of course look share a comment in the comment section and about the question or if you need to have some clarity, nanga bangzwanga anyway. During my exp during this lesson, unga just feel free to ask any question in the comment section. So for now, um, thanks for watching. As one on the next video. Bye bye.